Good morning. Here's what I got for you. Um, took me several tries. I can show you. I got a bunch of hit, hidden items over here where this was actually my second attempt. Um, but I think I finally got um, a good design here. So these these plates are aluminum. They would bolt into the wall mount, which would be made out of steel. This is steel. This is steel. Um, you would supply me with a nine inch stroke actuator. Um, this is aluminum as well. All the aluminum parts have um, high load iron, high iron content bronze, um, permanently lubricated bushings from a master car. I sourced everything from a master car. So your gas shocks, um, there's actually two. I've only got one in there right now, but they'll be mirrored on either side of this mount to get the forces that I need. Um, but your bushings and gas shocks and everything would come from the master car. I will have these parts laser cut and uh, fold them up. And then uh, there's some welding here because it, the shape that I wanted is not possible to be folded on a CNC um, brake press. So I have some pieces that I'm going to weld in. That's going to allow me to get the alignment correct between the pins. Um, but basically what you would have is this contraption and then you would slide it into, after you bolted this on the wall, you would slide these together and then put some bolts on, along the side. Um, this is pretty much all made from quarter inch steel. Like I said, there's a few aluminum parts. Um, it folds up into a really tight package. Um, let's see some measurements here. So when it's folded up, from the cinder block wall to the outermost face of this part, which we're going to have to mount the TV mount to, I'll have to bolt the TV mount to that, is um, it's supposed to be, oh, it's not wanting to do that because they're at an angle. So let's just do it this way. you would have uh, four and a quarter inches, basically. Um, the, the mount itself is three and three quarter. Um, like I said, a nine inch actuator, so nine inches of the stroke got me where I want to go. Um, I modeled it, this, this slider doesn't want to work um, it's just too too complex for my computer, essentially, um, when I tried to make everything work together. But the geometry is all, all correct, um, and I double-checked by putting things in different positions. Um, I think about down here is as low as it's going to go. Um, so that gets you a total travel of from here to let's say here is 35 inches. And then if I put this thing away, and I go from here to there again, you got nine inches. So 26 inches of travel. Um, but you can show this to your customer. I feel confident enough in this. I got these, these two are 280 pounds of spring force. So that takes off, that removes 280 pounds of work from this actuator. Um, and the actuator, actuator is a 400 pound actuator. I think, um, and I probably will literally do this, put a, put a chair on this mount and make it raise me up and down a bunch of times to, so we make sure it's like rock solid. But I really think with, you know, these are, um, I think I ended up on three quarter inch. Yeah, three quarter inch pins. Um, the bushings are rated for some ungodly amount of weight. Um, you got something here that'll last forever and it's just gonna be rock solid as can be. So um, I haven't designed the mount to, to go to the face of these aluminum blocks yet because I don't know what you're gonna give me in terms of mounting to the TV. Um, I cut the back of this out so that the, the TV mount actually doesn't add anything or the wall mount doesn't add anything to the package. Um, 
even the motor is actually somewhat inside the quarter inch plate. Um, so yeah, just take, take a look at it. I'll send you a link um, where you can manipulate the model yourself. Um, let me know if you have any questions and then uh, hopefully we get the order. Thank you.